Hi, and welcome to Who Noob and Who Veteran. I'm Eugene, I'm the Who Veteran. And uh, I'm, well, I'm what I say on the tin. I know all there is about Doctor Who. And this is Russell. Mm. He's a Who Noob. He's only just started watching. Since Peter Capaldi came onto the show last series. Seriously, why are you eating again? You're eating last week and the week before. Okay, last week you had the excuse of Kara being dead and you're like grief eating or whatever. The week is she before. Still dead? Is she still dead? she alive? And then the week before, I don't know what your excuse was then. I was hungry the week before. Okay, so last week was then grief eating. And now what is it this week? Well, Kara's still dead. But, I mean, I mean, I know it takes a while to get over things, but I mean, you do know Kara's fictional, right? Yeah. I'll be okay, just let me get through this. I'm taking five, everybody. <clears throat> so what did you think of the episode, guys? Um, I personally really liked it. Um, yeah, I, um, I was confused the first time I watched it, but it definitely had rewatchability. Oh, you hypocrite. Mm. Mm. If you're going to eat, I might as well eat too. You might as well. But I'm going to drink as well. Um, no, I think I'm talking about this show. But yeah. I Did you make it to say stop. which episode we're reviewing? No. So it's called this Heaven, is why Heavenly... Heaven... Heaven Sent. Heaven Heaven Sent. Written by Sent. Stephen Moffat. Mm. The second to last episode of the series. Directed by that girl. Rachel Salami. Mm. This is what I have to put up with every week. Don't talk with your mouth full. So I like the um, I like the episode. I thought it had lots of rewatchability, especially with watching it the second time. So I can I can say that, and and I know what I'm talking about. It definitely helped watching it the second time. Did you find that? Yeah, I mean I got most of it the first time round, but it was. Yeah, I was little, quite tired little... the first time I watched it. But there were a few little things which I picked up on the second time, which I didn't the first time, though, mm. so, yeah. Yeah. Now, there were questions I had, though. Did you have questions? Did you watch uh, it? Oh, I do have some questions, um, but most of them are things which I imagine and hope will be resolved in the next episode, such yeah. as oh. <clears throat> what exactly does the Doctor mean by conquering and standing in the ruins of Gallifrey? Mm. Uh, what exactly yeah, is what the is hybrid? He How was he inside the confession dial? Who exactly was it that was that who you know kidnapped him and took him in the first place? Mm. How's a shoulder all going to work into this? Because we saw in the next time trailer. Mm. Was that Rassilon we saw in the next time trailer? What one's Rassilon? The the actor he said he was from Game of Thrones. Oh right. He had the funny hat. Yeah. Right. Anyway, he was also holding um, the staff of Rassilon in the trailer. So mm. I think is he Rassilon? You won't know who Rassilon is. Right. But no. Rassilon was played by Timothy Dalton last time we saw him. Oh, and, um, Timothy Dalton. Maybe he's regenerated since, maybe we're going to get him back, that double be interesting. Yeah, 007. Mm. More like 00, Time Lord, <laughs> President. Um, I had some questions <laughs> too that I want answered, but I don't know if they will get answered in the next one. Should I, should okay, I... well, you shoot your questions at me, shoot um, your questions. Why didn't the ice wall restore? Yeah, I had that question too, because all the rooms supposedly restored. Hopefully that answer gets answered. Stephen, Moffat, I hope you add that. I know it's too late now, you're a week out from showing the episode, but... Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope there's something next week addressing that. I mean, mm. you know, there's also some other things like the Clara painting aged. Mm. And, and also the, you know, the writing bird stayed on there until like the very last second when he rewrote it. It's like, mm. it seemed a bit inconsistent as mm. in when rooms exactly reset and stuff. Mm. And then, and then the Doctor... This is quite dark and deep. So is the Doctor now a clone of of, of his original self? I'm guessing yeah, he is. Like, each time the actual Doctor's copy. dead. And now the show's continuing on with a copy. With a copy of him because... Doctor Copy. Yeah. Dr. That doesn't copy. have the same ring to it, does no. it? No. Doctor Who? No, Doctor Copy. Yeah, Doctor Who? No, Doctor Copy. Oh, no. Doctor Copy. Mm. No, it's Doctor Who. Yeah, okay. So, um, but yeah, so he must be dead. 
But yeah, it's one of those big like prestige sort of thing, you know, like in the like well, actually, spoiler alert, um, like that 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 well, that. It's not spoil the prestige for those who haven't seen it. Yeah, no, that's why I said spoil alert. Yeah, and it's just that uh, I still let's okay. reviewing Doctor Who here, not the prestige. Okay, but you know what but I mean. For about, those of you that have seen the prestige, you know what I mean. However, though, talking about Christopher Nolan films, this kind of reminded me of Memento a bit. This old episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is weird because last Christmas. Uh, made us think of Inception. Mm. So like Stephen Moffat copied Inception. Now he's copying Memento. It's like, yeah. does he have an obsession with Christopher? Just some originality, mate. Well, okay, he's not no, ripping I'm off. Joking. Well, Last Christmas was borderline ripping off, but mm. this wasn't ripping off. Mm. No. But still, it's just funny that he's done two episodes in a very close amount of time, which are a bit like Christopher Nolan films. Mm. Mm, very good. Mm. I might have one later. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's all first. It's all mm. first. Mm. You just had me on about mm. it. Definitely Memento. Yeah, I got that feeling. Yeah. But overall, did you like it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Again, it depends how the next episode resolves everything. Yeah. I mean, one of months. my biggest worries coming into this episode was how are they going to make this feel like a two-parter where one episode's just the Doctor mm. and then the next episode's got a full cast, but mm. they definitely made it one whole story, this is definitely... Moving into something else. Well, this is definitely the same yeah. continuous story, because I can't give this episode an out of 10 score or anything, or any kind of final verdict, because there's just too many lingering questions and plot mm. lines and stuff for me to really properly have an opinion. The thing is, I feel like Stephen Moffat, 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 sort of goes, um... Sort of goes, ah, oh, yep, this is a two-parter, yep and we'll leave them with all these questions, but by the time next week comes around, they're gonna forget all those questions, and, <laughs> and we'll just we'll just brush those questions under the rug a little bit. He does seem you know. to do that from, a bit from time to time, mm. but it does kind of annoy me. Mm. Um, he hasn't been so bad at it since, um, actually, no, I take the back, he brushed a lot of stuff sort of to the side like that, and the, uh, series final last year with mm. Dark Water, Death in Heaven. Mm. There was a lot of stuff in Dark Water which just got dropped in Death in Heaven, so... Mm. Yeah, he's still currently bad at it, but so mm. far this series he's been good at not doing that. Mm. Admittedly, he's only written one story so far, which was the opening two-parter. And then he co-wrote the girl who We did have some questions from that, um, that one where they're in the... The one about the sleep, going to sleep. But that was Mark Gatiss, and that was a one-parter. That was my... Oh, yeah, true. True. We did have some questions about that, though. Yeah. But yeah, overall, I did really enjoy it. Capaldi was great in it. Mm. Um, he was. They said the word ass in it, which is... Yeah. I don't think that word's ever been seen in Doctor Who before. There's been a bit of swear words that haven't been in the show before this series. We also had the, the B word that rhymes with witch, like in The Witch is Familiar. Bitch? Yeah. I was trying to not say it, but yeah. there you go, just ruined it. Um, but yeah, we had that, which I think has been seen in the show before once or twice, but still it's very rare to get language like that in Who, so... Mm. It's kind of like last... It hasn't every time it been Clara who said it? No, no, it was Missy who said it in The Witches. Oh, well. Yeah. But yeah, this series overall has been a lot more kind of darker and more violent and stuff, which I quite like. It's sort of mm. like... They've just kind of gone... The violence in this one was pretty intense. Yeah. It and was... it was dark intense. Like, it was like, oh, this is some... Yeah, this was a really creepy you know, like episode. Him, I mean, I've been... Him killing himself, himself to, re to come back alive. But it wasn't him. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot I could say on this episode, but the thing is, though, I don't really want to say a lot on it, though, until I see how it all turns out in the next episode. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if I, if I have one really substantial kind of thing to say now, without us knowing what's happening next week, would be, I think, the opening, the pre-title sequence should have been a bit different, because you know how you get the narration from the Doctor and then you see just, like, the hand come down and and then fizzle away and then the new Doctor yeah. appears. Yeah. But that's the opening. Because of that, I instantly came to the conclusion that what was going on was actually going on within those first opening five minutes. I oh, instantly... you work it out. Yeah, the first time I watched it, I was like, I bet that's the Doctor and he's going to just repeat the events of this episode over and over again. I bet you a million that's what's going on. From that's just the why the he's moment. the Doctor Who veteran. Yeah. Who veteran. The Who, who veteran. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. But... So I didn't get it. I didn't get that. Yeah, well, I was going to ask you that. Did you figure that out? Yeah. 
So yeah. it came as a surprise? It came as a surprise. Okay, so it's probably just because I'm so used to watching Doctor Who and other films like Memento and The Prestige and Inception that mm. I'm probably used to looking out for things like that, whereas most people probably aren't. I think I should just start watching lots of um, Christopher Nolan films and then I'll be able to pick up everything that Stephen Moffat's going to do yeah. <laughs> in the future. Yeah, it seems like it at the moment. Um, But yeah, I think that opening perhaps should have been a bit different and the episode should have just started from when the Doctor appears mm. because it just gives you just a little bit too much information. It gives you information that the Doctor doesn't have at that point mm. and I feel like you should figure it out with, with the him. Doctor. Because mm. otherwise you've got information that he doesn't have and it gives the audience sort of like an unfair advantage almost. Mm. Um, yeah. But I mean, it's a pretty small nitpick in the grand scheme of things. But when it comes to storytelling, you do need to have it because if you know the story before the character that you're rooting for, you know, mm. then it becomes less interesting for you because you're waiting for the lead character to finally work it out. You know? Yeah, exactly. So I can't spend the whole episode being like, come on, Doctor, figure it out, figure yeah. it out. Mm. Admittedly, I didn't, I didn't pick up on some things, such as uh, I didn't figure out what bird meant. Uh, yeah, no. And it wasn't, wasn't until the, the second viewing where I properly got that. Um, I I feel like an idiot, but I feel I didn't pick up on um, the whole why have the stars changed and become seven thousand years older. Mm. Uh, like an idiot, because I figured it out in the first five minutes what was going on, so I should have been able to figure out. Oh, he's just been here for seven thousand years. But no, I didn't figure that out until mm. the very end, which I feel like an idiot for not getting. Man, I worked that out. Well, how could you work that out straight away? Not straight away. No, no, not straight away. Oh, yeah, when he started set talking. Explaining it. Yeah, 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 of course yeah. I got it when he explained it, but mm. I didn't. Oh, pick, I should. I feel like I should have picked up picked it up on the single moment when he said that they are 7,000 years older. I feel like I should have picked it up exactly then because yeah. at the beginning of the episode, I picked up instantly yeah. the whole premise yeah. of the episode already, so. What did you think of the yeah. monster? Oh, the monster was cool. Yeah. Love the monster. Excuse me, yeah. Really creepy. I got um, a bit of a fright, to be honest. When you're lying there with a computer, like, there, and you're watching it, I mean, the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, did you have headphones on? Mm-mm. Uh, so I was I watching it on the TV, but, yeah, it still gave me a year of fright. And so mm. it was really creepy in some bits, and some really good music in this episode, too. Mm. Some really good music, such as the music that plays when the Doctor's looking at the painting of yeah. Clara. Yeah. Brilliant music. Um, and the title yeah. sequence was in sync! Mm. Yes! Unlike last week. You see, they've learned from last mm. week and now they're yeah, back in sync again. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That makes me happy. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's really all I can say about it until we see part two next week. I thought Capaldi did a good job of... He did a brilliant job. Yeah, and I th I liked the way... I think it was written well with the way with the chalkboard, so it wasn't, you know... So there was communication and we could... For me, who didn't work out the premise at the beginning with him, yeah. it was a way for me to work out the premise along with the Doctor, and, you know, by having his thoughts go on, you know, his thoughts on happened a on a chalkboard, yeah, that was cool. that was, in the TARDIS, that was well, a, in his, what did he call it? His, he called it his, um, storage room. His storage room. Which is funny, because that's, that's just like the Mind Palace, from, for anyone who watches Sherlock, which is Stephen Moffat's other show. Oh, right. And Sherlock has this little place in his head that he calls his Mind Palace, and he imagines a palace with all the things that he's, mm -hmm. everything that he knows in his head, mm -hmm. and he just goes there and finds everything, and I'm like, oh, so the Doctor has his version of that called mm -hmm. the Storeroom. It's like Moffat just taking ideas from one show and just planting them oh, yeah, in no, another. Yeah. Um, when we, when normally, we make a crossover. Normally, normally I would, yeah, yeah, crossover that. Uh, <laughs> that's probably never going to happen. Part of me wants it, part of me doesn't. We should, we I should. want it as long as it's not canon. That well, it would have seen. to be in Doctor Who, do you know what I mean? It would yeah. have to be in the Doctor Who one where he, Doctor Who goes to the time of Sherlock and they have Sherlock Holmes, yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch, and Doctor Who. You couldn't yeah. do it in. In the Sherlock series, do you know what I mean? Well, it would have to be like a comedy special yeah. episode or something, yeah. just on the net or something. Yeah. But yeah, but anyway, I like the storeroom. Usually I don't like it when Moffat just takes ideas from one place and, and just shoves it somewhere else. But mm -hmm. as I've said before, I'm alright with reusing ideas as long as you come at it with an interesting new perspective. And although he didn't really do it differently, it just kind of makes sense for the Doctor to have a similar thing to the Mind Palace. It just mm. worked, really. I really like it. And it was really well implemented in the story, and you kind of needed something like mm. that. 
40 episode which only has one actor in it. That scene was brilliant too where he was like, um, <laughs> he first goes there and starts talking about if you want to slow down time, focus really hard, you know, on your yeah. thoughts. And then you, you see everything slow down and he's, as he's falling out the window. Because I've had that thought, like, like myself. Like, it's something that I sort of related to. I was like, yeah, if I think really hard about this, you, or concentrate on the things going on around me, time will slow down. But really, time doesn't slow for anybody. But, yeah. you know, you get that sort of... That you know, sensation. That sensation. Yeah. And, yeah, I thought that was cool because I could relate to it. It was kind of a cool thought to play with. Um, and that scene was done really well. Yeah. How he's like, he's falling, he's like, and then you think you, you're working out what the hell's going on, and he's like, that, that, that's what I'm actually doing right now. Yeah. I'm in, you know, the storage room, and yeah, it was cool. Really yeah. good scene. I don't know if I explained that well, but yeah, yeah. good scene. Yeah. Yeah, good episode overall, um, and hopefully it can, can continue on this high level of quality into part two, and the hopefully finale. we can get. Yeah, the finale, and the finale is over an hour long, which that's exciting. Mm. And we're finally going to get to see Gallifrey for a whole episode with a modern day television budget. That's really exciting to mm. me. It's a long time Doctor Who fan. And Maisie Williams is in next week's episode again. What's your character called again? Me. Me. The hybrid is me. Oh, oh the hybrid, hybrid is, is me. me. That's what oh. we want to talk about. The hybrid is me. Now. Is it me or is the doctor? Is it me or the doctor? I just like, said that. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? You just said what? I just, uh, there's nothing else we can say now because we've asked the question and there's nothing we can really add to that until we get next week's episode. Yeah, so. true. There is one other thing I want to mention, um, which I forgot, which I should have mentioned before. I'll mention it then. Is the, how the hell did he have the... Confession dial. The confession dial. I just asked that earlier. Too. Oh, you did ask that. Sorry, I missed. I missed. Uh, uh, see what I mean, don't you? Uh, struggling. <laughs> we'll see you next week for the series final. Well, that makes me sad. It's been a really good series. We've got the Christmas special after in two weeks too. But Star Wars is between the series final and the Christmas Ooh. special. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars! Oh. Should we start up a show called Star Noob and Star Veteran? But we're both the veterans, I feel. Okay, tell me who Darth Revan is. Darth Malak. We'll see you Darth next Mane. week. Darth Mane. That's the guy from Batman. Nope. With a suit on. Nope. <laughs> well, okay. Um, yeah, no. Nope. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Who's Luke's father?